Have that you is, been discriminated against? Yes. By whom? By white people. What did they do to you? Tell me what happened to you. They told me that I needed to wear my hair a certain way in order to be groomed. Who told you that? All right, a supervisor. At your job? Yeah, at a previous job. At a what? A previous job, I don't work there anymore. So you were working at this company, and you went in, you applied for the job, and you, at the time that you were applying for the job, you told them, if, okay, if you pay me X amount of dollars, I would come every day, and I would follow your rules, and you took the job, right? Is that right? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. They can't hear you. Yes. They can't hear you, Michelle. Come on. So when you agreed to do that job and follow their standards, their rules, you didn't mean it? Apparently. Because this woman must think that uh, certain jobs don't have uniforms. Just like if you work in a cafeteria, in the kitchen area, you are required to wear a head bonnet so that your hair doesn't get in all everyone's food. Yeah, people don't like food, like hair in their food. And it's either you wear it and keep your job or you don't wear it and find another job. That's not discrimination. Um, can yes, I, ask I why did, her but hair culture you, is you, you didn't everybody mean it. has different culture. So you meant to follow their rules. Did you know about the hair deal before taking the job? No, uh, they didn't. said, right, they, they groomed. Said what? means groom means you got up and you touched you did your hair you did your face you're aware of your whole appearance right right and so you went in there with what an afro or something something similar what you did what you go in there with <laughs> with a ponytail with the afro and a little bang in the front oh uh, and they say nice. no you can't that wear that hot hairstyle they said it's just not as it doesn't look professional mm. and they they just made a recommendation but they didn't say oh our rules prohibit you but they said oh look i just want to make a nice recommendation right and you didn't did they have a right to make that recommendation no they didn't have a right did they own the company no they did not own the company who owned the company the owner wasn't nobody owned the company <laughs> somebody have to own the company nobody it wasn't a company these people can't communicate Huh. We, these are the wrong folks up here. Oh, wow. I'm not getting the real them? answers or anything. Um, I think you've Where'd gotten you some very clear. Excuse me, sir. You Can guys you are not, not even communicating. I thought this was going to be like that. Can you not my intelligence <clears throat> while I'm sitting right in front? Yo, do you see the way this man is sitting? This man is sitting with almost his legs crossed on a couch in an interview with a camera rolling. And he even got his hair done on nothing like this. This is your representation, man. This looks terrible and this one over here with ripped jeans coming to an I don't yeah you people don't know how to dress for nothing man in front of you you asked me for clear answers I gave you clear answers I thought this you was choose gonna, to have but a you discussion guys are not with even the system because I'm trying to I'm trying to get some understanding to what is wrong and what we can do about the problem, but you guys won't really. Okay, I can tell you, you're going off the discussion me. and You're focusing on the problem, but you're not I'm focusing on the solution, right? Trying, and we'll get to and that. And you want to know what the solution would be? No, we need to find out what is the problem. Have you been discriminated against? Who discriminated against you and why? I've been discriminated well, it, against. I've been told it was the that policy that allowed the recommendation to even come in. So it's policies that are created that people have to go by that perpetrate discrimination was this with a was private it? business that you were working no for it was not the pr was a private it a government business? business yes it was and so the government rules are you can wear your hair any kind of way you want to as long as it's decent and so when you're just your supervisor obviously her hair wasn't decent she said she had an afro with a ponytail in the back and a bang in the front i'm just picturing the way that looks right now and that doesn't look good at all she probably got them long ass fingernails to type with too it looks terrible Advisor approach you about your hair once you got this job? Be more uh, specific in your in You your said question. you got this job and you did you quit the job or you got fired? Um, I quit. You quit. And you quit because of they they recommend a different hairstyle. Uh no, that's not the reason why I quit. Why did you quit? Uh because I felt that I wanted more fulfilling work so where's the racism in that and you right. quit because you were not fulfilled you said that was an example of you being discriminated against right but now that's just saying, something that black people on a daily basis we fulfilled. have to work through so i have to work sorry. through that right so i have to conform racism? to that so was but it racism or you want to be fulfilled 
Mr. Peterson? Wait, it man, was an instance right on the job. It wasn't the, the final conclusion on the job. So you quit because you wanted to be fulfilled, not because of discrimination about your hair. Right. Mm -hmm. But you just said that was you a problem. But it had nothing to do with racism. You was not fulfilled. Why did you try to make that into racism? But it's discrimination that we face, that all black people face on a daily basis. But that you, we have to work through because it's like, okay, hey, am I going to tell them, fuck you, you. Made, I'm going to wear my hair the way I want to, or am I going to work this out to Michelle, the next week and make sure that I can get a check? Because you have not given me an example of you being discriminated against. I asked for I an not example. Valid enough like for you. Both of you are running around right. crying racism. I'm not and crying yet, racism. You haven't given me an Can example. You stop doing Hold that. on. I didn't Hold say on. racism. I'm I said discrimination. Yeah, I remember I was watching um, a Steve Harvey show when this girl had stood up, black girl, and she was like, "Oh, she's asking Steve, why can't, why is it so hard for me to get a job?" And she's got purple hair. She's like, "Why is it hard for me to get a job? Because it's not." Steve was like, "Yo, it's not professional. Like, it don't look good." You have to conform to someone else's rules when you go work for somebody or make your own job. You haven't given me an example statement. you're being discriminated against. Okay. Have you been discriminated against? Yes, I have been discriminated and against. And who discriminated against an you? An employer discriminated against me. They asked me to cut my hair. Was it a white man or a white this person? This was a Caucasian people? female. Okay, and so private job? No, Probably. this is a public sector job. Okay, so you fill out the application. I filled out the application. And you said on the app that I will follow the rules if that you I pay me X amount rules. of dollars. Yes. And did you have the afro at the time? Yes, I had my afro at the time. And they still hired you? And they hired me. And so you went in and they said what to you? This that, is a white female boss, right? Yes. Okay. After And this after is a government a job. great job. And so you go into the office, she call you in. Yes. And she says what to you about your hair? She told me that I had to cut my hair, that my hair had gotten too long and looked unmanaged. Oh, okay. Well, and what's wrong right with that? Now. A lot is wrong with that. Why? Why don't you want to look? You, I wouldn't hire you with their hair looking like that. <laughs> I wouldn't either because this man, man hair look like he hasn't kept it up in weeks. But I mean, this whole thing about hair, like it's not even that serious. Like, you know, firefighters. They have to shave their face. They're not supposed to have any facial hair. Think um, UPS or USPS also, they're not allowed to have any facial hair. Like if, but if you don't like that, don't take the job. If cutting your hair stops you from making money, you obviously need to reevaluate your life because it's just hair. It's gonna grow back eventually if you're in a certain age. I used to have my hair longer than his with twists in my hair when I was working for FedEx Ground. After I got into FedEx Express, I cut my hair because it looks more professional and it's easier to manage with my hair this low. And it looks better. I think I look better with shorter hair anyway. But I'm not going to put my hair in between me making money because I can always wear the, my hair the way I want outside of work or just find another job if you're a woman. You know, if you're a man, obviously you cut your hair, it's going to take a longer to grow back. But it's just hair. It's not a big deal.